Good morning and welcome to St. Thomas's Sunday School. We, the children of God's creation, welcome the light and peace of Christ among us as we gather in his service. Let us receive the presence of the Holy Spirit and may the Creator guide us this day. As we light the Christ candle, let us remember that. Together, light is a gift from God. Jesus came into our midst as the light of the Holy Spirit to presence our work and witness. Breaking into our lives, dispelling fear and doubt, setting us free to work and live through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. First Sunday of Lent. We have a reading from Mark, chapter 1, verses 9 to 15. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. Jesus in the Wilderness has anyone here been camping before? Tell me what it's like. When I think of camping, I think of sleeping bags, bonfires, and looking up at the stars, and bringing lots and lots of stuff. What items did you think of? If I could only bring one thing with me, it would be matches so I can start a fire. No wait, water so I can have something safe to drink. Oh, and a sleeping bag or blanket, so I don't get cold. But wait, I forgot marshmallows. S'mores are the best part of going camping. But what good would that be without the matches to start the fire? Okay, let me try this one more time. If I could only bring one thing with me for a long camping trip, it would be a sleeping bag with built-in pockets that could store my matches, water bottle, and marshmallows. Oh, and a flashlight. And a chair and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Do you think that counts as just one thing? Yeah, I don't think so. This is so hard. I don't want to give up any of those things. You know, I read in the Bible about Jesus going out into the wilderness one time. He stayed out there for a full 40 days. That is so long. What do you think he brought with him on his trip? Do you want to know the answer? Nothing seriously, really. As in, no sleeping bags, no water bottles, and not even marshmallows. Jesus went out into the wilderness to prepare himself. He was about to choose his disciples and travel all over preaching the good news of salvation. He knew just how important this was, so he wanted to make sure there weren't any distractions. Just Jesus and God talking to each other. No food, no drink, no friends, no distractions. Have you ever tried to talk to God and been distracted? Maybe you hear your favorite TV show is about to start, or you can't stop eating your milk and cookies. There might be toys to play with, friends to talk to, or a happy dog just wanting to be pet. It can all get very distracting, and the next thing you know, it's an hour later, and all you've said is, Dear God. 
It happens to all of us. But thankfully, Jesus showed us just what to do. We need to go into the wilderness and bring nothing with us. Now, I don't mean the actual wilderness. I just mean somewhere that we can be alone with God and no distractions. Maybe it's sitting at the dinner table, kneeling by your bed, or even plopped on top of a pile of dirty towels in the laundry room. As long as it's somewhere that you can be alone with God and away from distractions, you can also try saying your prayers out loud to cover up any noise around you. You could turn your prayer into a song or a poem, or making a list of things to pray about so you don't get distracted and forget anything. But the most important thing to remember is that God just wants to hear from you. No matter if your prayer is long or short, fancy or simple, silly or serious, from inside of a church or from under your bed, God just wants to hear from you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us to still ourselves to receive the quiet strength of Christ, the humble power of God, and the pervasive light of the Spirit. We are thankful for your holy word. Help us to read our Bible daily and hide its words in our heart so that we might be able to resist temptations. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. present to light our work in witness. Go forth into this day mindful of the light and the love of God. Together, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.